South Ionian sailing course, followed by a flotilla, is in my opinion the most perfect way to start your adventure with sailing. Short distances between the islands, a wide variety of sheltered bays and harbours, breathtaking mountainous scenery, and friendly locals who are used to helping the beginners here with mooring at most keys, all make it for a very pleasant and stress-free sailing experience. It was here, three and a half years ago, where I first started my journey with sailing. I did a basic sailing course at Funaki Beach Club near Paleros, followed by a South Ionian flotilla. And let me tell you, it was the flotilla that made me fall in love with sailing and encouraged me to carry on the journey by completing my AYA Day Skipper course in the same year. Three and a half years later, my dad, who got me into sailing, and I decided to come back to Vunaki and do it all again. It was extremely sentimental for me. You see, going on the flotilla, especially if you're a beginner, is great. You always know you have the lead boat to help you with anything you need taking the pressure off you, especially while mooring, or if something goes wrong. You end up meeting a lot of fantastic people from the other boats, who are also sailors or are learning how to sail. You enjoy dinner and drinks together every night at the local tavernas, at different islands and harbours. You also get enough freedom to do whatever you'd like during the day. Fancy stopping at the most remote islands and destinations? Go for it! You want to drop the anchor and go snorkeling at a calm bay? The world is your oyster. You think that hike up the mountain looks tempting? You're cold, as long as you leave yourself plenty of time to get to the set destination and moor the boat at a given time by your lead boat crew. It's honestly so much fun and I highly recommend it. During our first day, we left Vunaki and sailed to Kalamus Harbour, on the island of the same name. Our sail was very nice, we had between 8 to 10 knots of wind and were cruising at about 5 to 6 knots. We had some welcome drinks in Calamus with everyone on the flotilla and get to know each other a bit. I didn't feel much of Calamus as the weather was not on our side as soon as we got there. We had non-stop rain in the evening and the following morning, which only seemed to have gone after we left Calamus. We headed to Abeliki and Little Vafi on Meganisi Island. our boat Zaza and we just arrived to Abiliki. It is important to note here that this was likely the worst weather of the entire season as we came here in mid-October, which is late season for sailing Greece. Hello guys, this is the second day of our flotilla doing the South Ionian. We are here for two weeks, but we are doing two separate flotillas because this year due to COVID, there's only one flotilla. Right now we are in Little Vafi. We haven't actually parked in this marina though. We parked in Abeliki by the restaurant. They have a own pontoon and Nielsen has take a deal. The taverna, take the taverna to me. <laughs> you want the taverna in? Yeah, this is the taverna in Little Vafi and yeah, we just came here, it's a very short walk from Abeliki to Little Vafi um, and it's beautiful here, it's a gorgeous day, 
Uh, this is our second day. Yesterday we went from Vonaki Beach Club to Kalamas, but actually I was about to film Kalamas for you guys. I was hoping that I would get a lot of lovely shots of Kalamas, but it was pouring down with rain yesterday and today morning. Impossible to film. I just couldn't film anything. Thankfully the weather cleared up. No wind today though. Yesterday we had a lovely sail. We did about five and a half knots. I did actually. I was on the helm. I was sailing and I did about five and a half knots but today there was hardly any wind we put the sail the main sail up but actually it wasn't doing much there was no ma not much point putting the genoa out either so we actually ended up motoring here from Kalamaz but now the weather is lovely and yeah we've been here before already if you've seen my vlogs from three and a half years ago we've been to all these places before and it's taking me right back I feel like I've moved back in time but I'm a lot more experienced as a sailor and just nice to be back here though it's the flotilla in Greece was one of my favorite moments ever it was one of the best holidays that I've ever had it's very sentimental for me because that's when I first started sailing and to be back here just very special Little Vafi on Meganisi Island offers a small but rather busy harbor there are a few shops tavernas and bars here the place is extremely picturesque and for the fans of snorkeling you can even find a plane wreck underwater by the harbour. From Abeliki to Little Vafi, it's only a 10 minute uphill walk. We went for lunch, admired the boats coming in and out of the harbour and sat next to a huge powerboat named Elada. We just went to the taverna. We have a uh, dinner booked tonight with our flotilla, but that's at 7.30 and it's like 4 or 4.30 right now, so it's definitely better to eat something before then. So we just went to the taverna. It's actually, we are in Greece, so it's so hard to get food at this time of day, which to be honest, in most Mediterranean places, uh, like Italy or Sardinia, was the same problem. Places here are shut and they only open around seven, a lot of them. So yeah, just getting something small right now. That does look amazing. Mm. Mm. Ah. We enjoyed the sun, until it started setting and then it was time to go back to Abeliki to eat out with the rest of our flotilla. Remember to subscribe to my channel to follow me on my South Ionian flotilla and see the places we get to visit next. Also, if you could like this video to let me know you enjoyed it, it would help me and the YouTube algorithm a lot. Thank you guys, I'll see you in my next one.